at its most simplistic, reductivist, we're just talking about the next generation of productivity tools. That's what these machines are. This is what this software is. And so, you know, we've all lived in our whole careers of being used in productivity tools, more sophisticated productivity tools. Um, and that's the nature of what we do. So you have to now begin to use the next generation of productivity tools. And if you don't, and you do, then we know how that story's going to end. So, you know, that's... Okay, but that, that's, it sounds slightly glib. Some do, some do and some don't, and yeah. the ones who do end up on the good end of the stick, and no. the ones who don't. Yeah. So you you were about you you're in the middle of explaining exactly that. Well, yeah, just this notion of pathways. How how do I get from here to there? And I think people are ter terrified that you know this thing is going to come, it's going to blow me away, it's going to wash over me. There is I have no agency, I have no control over this. But it's really interesting. Ben and I went to an event where Andrew Ng spoke, one of the leading minds in AI research. Um, former and, Google, uh, and, former Baidu. Yes, exactly. And uh, I believe has one of the most uh, subscribed courses on Coursera. But he talked about, you know, here's your prototypical person who is squirreling away on Excel in the back office finance function, you know, from the biggest bank to a small chain of mom and pop pet shops in the greater LA area thinking this thing is going to blow me away, right? F&A, classic back office. But there is a three-step hop that if that person could learn how to, you know, through a simple online course in a matter of weeks, learn how to program into Google TensorFlow, and by the way, triple, maybe quadruple their salary in the process, like that's there. But can you see that pathway?